Hi, my name is Liam and I am a junior. I'm Joanna and I'm a freshman. I'm Jack and I'm a junior. I'm Bailey and I'm a freshman. And we are from Lincoln High. Yeah, no! And this poem is titled Going Postal. <laughs> Sitting there, motionless, resting without purpose, without want. A desolate sight indeed. The once mighty flag which it, it would, would raise, raise gloriously day, day by day. day. Signaling a message to its once good friend now rests beside it as still as its heart. It's a shame what's happened to our dear friend. The, the mailbox. mailbox. <laughs> now used only by shills for bills. An era of romantic composition. Dead. Voices <laughs> instead by corporate dread. Where are the love letters? Where are the thrills? A long time ago was a culture defined by the nuclear family. American, American mindset, mindset of green lawns and freedom and mom's apple pie. But the thing I miss most? It's the warm, heartfelt letter. But now, day by day, I'm trapped in a cell of polycarbonate or, or aluminum, aluminum oxide. oxide. Whatever name Apple decides is right every other fiscal quarter when my means of dissemination is destined to malfunction, I am trapped! The cell which feeds off my will to be social, draining my wallet, polluting my mind. More and more I can't live on the outside of this diaclatonic cave of, of illusory living. Shadows of my friends cast on screen by dyotic puppeteers. When I keep lighting the fire, every minute I type up, every day I turn on, every month I pay the bill, and every year I buy the newest model, I keep lighting the fire every, every minute, minute of every day because, because there is no one up there. No one to follow, no one to poke, no one to send a dank meme as a joke. And how can I, and how can I go back when half my soul is writhing in a cellular horcrux, and how can the venom of a snake destroy it when it's filled with poison already? <laughs> poison which rots you to your core. Poison which makes you take more and more each day. But the smell of graphite scratching onto the paper of a warm, heartfelt letter. The taste of polyvinyl acetate under the flap of an envelope. The, the creaking hinge, hinge of the mailbox detoxifies my soul. Breaks, breaks the chains in my cell. And lets me walk out of the cave. Side by side with my companions. The romantic permanence of a warm, heartfelt letter. <laughs> They can't leave or be deleted. The excitement to find what hides only behind a thin layer of paper addressed just to you. A form of communication excommunicated since the advent of ten second snaps. Thought and consideration, entire concentration, a one on one message between two souls. A one on one message? Between two souls. With three address lines. Only four of you and, and five, five dimes in postage. postage. Our friend is not dead yet. It lies in waiting, like Vesuvius. Awaiting the day when it can raise its flag again and change America in a way far more impactful <laughs> than pay as it sits it's there, there motionless, motionless, our dear friend, the, the mailbox. mailbox. <laughs>